coming to you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? I don't give a fuck. You are my favorite. Farting for evil, because good is dumb. It's going deep show time. Hi. I'm the kid. This is it. That's what we do here. Double dipping. Dude, this is the last... This, we've been double dipping a lot lately there, Nurse Fiona. How's it going? It's going fantastically. Fucking A right. She was trying dresses on tonight. Looking all hot and bothered. Were you bothered while you were looking hot? Mm, maybe a squish. There was a little bit of bother. Just a squish. If you'd like to reach out to our program, if you got a comment or you have some stupid thing to say, if you find us retarded, but you're continuing to listen to us, that's the point here, guys. We're going to get in get in here for 20 minutes here, kill that time as you're driving or masturbating or whatever you do to our sexy voices right here. Licking the bean. Oh, yeah. Today's episode, we're going to talk about sex. We're also going to talk about retarded children. We're going to talk about death, too. We're going to save death for the end, so stay for that, everybody. It's always... So it's a good topic to wrap up, you know, as some people kick the bucket. I'd like to salute them and timestamp everything here on this program. Today, though, we're going to kick things off with this trend of, there's this sex trend, okay? Or multiple, seven sex trends. It's always, the number headlines always get you. Anytime there's a number in a headline, 21 greatest cars of all time, 10 best fucking Things to tickle your butthole. Just whatever it is, there's always the number game that gets you uh, caught up in this thing. So this is seven sex trends we'll see more of this year. These lists always come out at the beginning of the season because it's just that time of the year. Everybody new. It's the new year. Blah, blah, blah. So here we go. 2022 report explores trends, offers insight into ethical non-monogamy becoming a more prominent relationship model. See, I told you right off the bat. Non-monogamy. Non-monogamy. Monogamy. So wait a minute. So non So like you talking, they're talking swinging. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, well, either, well, either swinging or cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. It just depends who knows what. Side piece. How much swing are we talking here? We got a little bit of swing. We're talking swinging Wade from one left to the right. This is nutty. Sex. So I don't know. I can't. I don't think I could ever be involved with somebody who's who would be into that. Our friend. I have friends so, that are like that. Yeah, and what do they what do you, what do they say about it? Do they they, they say fan? it's the best time ever, and I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I am solid. Yeah, good, I don't think good I enough. Could do it. I don't me. think I can do that. I just don't. I don't no, know. I want nothing There's to do with something that, shit. that can't wrap my brain around it. I don't play nice in the sandbox. Oh, I'm no. not sharing my toys. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like if I saw even one of my closest friends like getting all up in my lady, <laughs> I would fucking chop the goddamn heads off. I've I've experienced that not too long ago, and and although I loved 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 my friend, and and she's like one of the most amazing people ever in the whole entire world. You know, a little alcohol takes over, and inhibitions kind of like go out the window, and I'm sitting there, and it's like. Hey, you can get the fuck off right now, like on somebody else. See if yeah, this is yeah. The, I, I love you, but I will fucking drown you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, sorry, I think no. it, yeah, I think that's the thing. There's something that when you become and he ain't trying to say something because he's like, oh, like I don't want to make things weird. All right, like it's already kind of fucking weird, don't you think? So I was like, all right, well, time to go. We used to have a guy on the baseball team who was a swinger, and him and his wife seemed to be like the happiest fucking couple I've ever seen. They were uh, sure they were uh, probably fully satisfied in every way possible. He was a bigger dude, big guy. She was a big woman as well, and they had stories. He had such good stories about uh, having parties at their house. They had this house over by uh, Michigan Avenue in B- in BC here, and and they would he had he redid his entire garage with a stripper pole and a bar and all this shit. And, and he had a pool and the one time I went over there before he remodeled his uh, his garage there was like some mattress like laying in the fucking garage I'm like is that what yeah he's, he was told he would tell stories of banging his wife and getting tired and like tapping a friend in to fucking finish her off 
Hmm. And I'm like, hmm. I don't know if mm-hmm. I, I would kill somebody. We lacking stamina up in there? He probably was. He was a big, I mean, he was a big motherfucker. So let's read a little bit more here how this thing is going to potentially, you know, non-monogamous relationships are going to be the big thing here coming up in the 2022. You got to love it. Ethic, ethical. I like how they started off. Ethical. Ethical, non-monogamous, E-N-M as it's referred to here. And fluid relationship. I knew the word fluid was coming in. Oh, uh, you do call that I quite pre- quite frequently. I predicted the fluidness of shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. I because you can just decide to be anything you want at that time, and you get. If I change my mind, like this happens with the pronouns and shit. Okay. I'm a unicorn. It's like I haven't made my mind up, so I'm just gonna be fluid. <laughs> it's I'm like a, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm a puma. Relationship models are expanding beyond traditional frontiers. Which is also, it also has an effect on the types of sexual wellness options available. Ooh, I like, they're really technical about this. Sexual wellness options. Sounds like something when you go to the eye doctor. We have many sexual wellness options for you. Well, it sounds like you're going to the gyno for some birth control. A uh, recent uh, YouGov poll, more than 1,300 adults found that about one third... 32% 32% stated their ideal relationship as being non-monogamous to some degree. To some degree? Well, what fucking... If you're honest with anybody, yes, to, to be locked in with a single person, although you want that, that bonding, it's kind of a thing, yeah, realistically, it is very difficult to, to maintain. So even a wee bit part of you, if you could have your cake and, and eat it too, which, wink, wink, uh, yeah. you know... I think I, I think all of us kind of tend to want to be with one and do that, and we have that like I'll fucking kill you if if you get caught or do something with somebody else. <laughs> but on the, on the flip side, you're probably attracted to more than one person. Well, so, yeah, I mean, it's human nature to be attracted to other attractive humans. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> There's only like 7.9 billion of us on here on the world, you know? So it's like, yeah, the whole soulmate bullshit. Like, oh, I found my soulmate. Yeah. Oh, I, fuck, I, yeah I, feel fuck like, I feel like people can have multiple soulmates if that's the case, because there are people that you bond with on different levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you have to have like a good circle of people around you to like satisfy many, many little niches that you need. <laughs> well, surround yourself with good people. Good things should happen. While alternative relationship styles aren't for everyone, this broadening of the conversation is helping to create a better understanding of what relationships can be, what sex can be, what is heteronormative. God, why do we got to keep... When we grew up, did we... So that means not gay? Heteronormative. Is it nor, So is it, is it like ish? I know. I know the language progresses and changes. I have and, to Google you know, that shit. But... but should well, I Google that shit? We tr- I don't know. Is this something that we is this something that we kept we were kept away from when we were kids? Did, did that word exist while we were growing up? I don't know if it did. That's a negative there, Ghostwriter. No, there is no fucking heteronormative. Go fuck yourselves with that shit. Who are these nerdy? And ma- if there was, go fuck yourselves anyway. The picture that they show in this is hilarious. It's like a white dude and a black guy and a red headed white chick in the b- between them, like she's doing fucking. So it's s- so, so it's a gangbang. She's doing ski poles with him. <laughs> We call this an Eiffel Tower. In this case, it's a ghetto Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and she's a ginger, so there's got to be another kind of twist to it, you know? Well, Fucking you know, brave. That's a twist from the blonde. All right. Number two, masturbation for pain relief. <laughs> no, hey, I'm on board of this. You know what? I've been pain relieving myself for years. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what>? <laughs> <laughs> I am so relieved of all pain. No pain, no gain. So... There is actually some some validity to pain relief with orgasming. Orgasms. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll agree with that because when I have a stomach ache sometimes, I'm just like, if I jack one off, it's going to feel better. When when if, when's the last time you had an orgasm that didn't feel better? Women women can actually get rid of cramps with orgasms. Really? Yes. No shit. No shit. Is that, a, is that some type of ploy when you're with the guy like, I got cramps. Can you just fucking Real give, the give fuck me some oh, me? Give me some oh, Give me some old time. I need that dick down. No, it's it's true, and uh, there are medical there are medical devices that can be used to keep the mess down to zero, pretty much. I did not know this. I've always thought that if I was gonna like be, I was actually gonna bring this up on a on a on a Doctor Nurse episode, uh, Doctor Nurse F show episode, and uh, it kind of went by the wayside because we were all about the claw. <laughs> <laughs> 
Masturbation with its multiple health benefits, including relieving stress and, re- and releasing feel-good hormones, is becoming a more a part of people's self-care routine. Self-care. I don't know, man. Me beating the shit out of my dick is not really caring for that little fucker. He's probably like, stop doing this to me every morning. Why? What did I do to you? <laughs> I mean, uh- you gotta, you gotta keep that fucking that fifty five gallon drum of lube handy. I know that's the thing you guys were talking uh, with uh, with <laughs> Doctor Mike Hunt, Hunt the other day, and he was talking about lube and stuff like this. And, and LB with his his hand situation, his brown hand, <laughs> it made me think Statistic. that I need to invest a little bit in some stuff. I got some cocoa butter the other day. I got some baby oil. Fucking a, you know. I'm going to start whining and dieting myself, getting some candles on, play some Kenny G in the background. Scented candles. Yeah, exactly. Lock the doors, make sure nobody fucking sees. <laughs> make sure every camera in the fucking place is hidden. But this, So I, I'll, I'll agree with this a little bit. I mean, obviously, these studies say this. I, I've always, whenever I, ever, I was younger, I'd have a stomachache or something like that. First, my first thought was immediately, fucking let's jack one off. Crawl into a fetal position until your stomachache comes back. And it would usually help me get to bed. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. Hats off to me. I was way out of my time jacking for medical purposes. <laughs> yeah, I got that oxytocin going. Number three, environmentally friendly sexual wellness. What the fuck? <laughs> who, in the, who are these nerdy McFuckertons writing this shit? That's when you dump your spoolie in the plants and give them extra protein. <laughs> environmentally friendly sexual Don't awareness. use rubbers because they're bad for the environment? There you go. Oh, skin to win. I call it raw dog in it. <laughs> That's what we do. Turns out people are becoming more environmentally conscious when it comes to their sexual health, too. It's focused has shifted to what intimate products are made and the how they impact the environment. So seriously, it is talking about, it's got to be, you know, these Jack po- off with fucking, with porn and pussies, olive oil? Or? Pocket pussies and shit. <laughs> is this, you go to the damn sex store, is this vegan friendly? <laughs> it's like, seriously, what the fuck are they thinking? Did you make this, did you make this dildo from bamboo? <laughs> That's crazy. Ow, to me. it expands. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the U.S., uh, it's a the market is a seven hundred million dollar global feminine care market. Oh, seven hundred and seventy million dollars so yearly. They're saying, they're saying feminine care. So I'm wondering if it's uh, something with. I mean, it has to be a combination of everything from lady freshening stuff to protection stuff to. You know, fucking tampons and stuff. Shit, yeah. I mean, there's got to be a whole oh, thing I'm on sure. that. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, eliminate all that stuff by using by using the device that helps you fuck on the rag. For many eco-conscious, suck, sex involves opting for toys that are rechargeable and made with high quality materials. So they're talking even batteries. Man, what people? They got, we, people got a lot of shit that they oh, can. Lithium put, ion. How much goddamn time do these people have to be like? What haven't we really gone after yet? And to figure out where we can save some fucking energy versus the diesel fuel well, fucking. fucking got it. Got it. Two fuck. stroke. You got a whole goddamn uh, <laughs> kickstart. Uh, you know, Generac fucking pull start. <laughs> fucking backup <laughs> battery plan. What is this thing on the wall over here? That's my solar powered vibrator machine. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> solar powered is the way to go. Just lay your ass out in the sun. Fuck there. Wearable sex tech is number four. So I can see this because have you seen this Oculus? If your kids want, have your kids asked about this? They have one. They have one. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. You can well, watch the t- the ten year old has one. You can watch some ridiculous porn on this thing. Um, I would like to, and that was Skittles talking about that the other night. Like, I want to know how he signed it because I want to. I want to take. I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I want to do it. I know. And does the history save because I don't need my kids seeing that shit? I don't know if it would. It would. I think it may have to. You have to tie it into your phone. I think. I think that's how it would work. Oh. But I want, yeah, I want to do that shit. I uh, want to. I, just, I want to walk into a room and did, it's just nothing but fucking chicks and their boobs just flopping. I'm just like looking around. Didn't he say? Didn't he say it? It was only like available from fir- like first person male perspective or something. So like, even if I got on there, I would have a dick. <laughs> Would be, well, no, Do you I, know how much fucking awesome you that? Wanna, <laughs> you want to know what it's like to have a dick? I would fuck all the holes. Well, yeah, there, there is a curiosity about that. Mr. Clean uh, brought it, brought this up years ago about how you ever think about what it'd be like to be a chick. I'm like, no, only you have Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. I had a dream once when I was younger that I had a dick, and man, I was fucking everything. You think? Oh, yeah. I was like, like no uh-huh. wonder, no wonder dudes are like this because this is the thing fun. is, the thing is, you know, when you're a guy, you you tend to think about where you can take your dick out, where you shouldn't take your dick out, <laughs> where you shouldn't like it. 
Yeah, yeah. There's I just, those. I just like, I remember dreaming it, and I was, I remember like, like thinking in my head, like, God damn, this is fucking awesome. And like, like I was, I was really hot, like I was really aroused over it in my dream, like in my sleep. Fuck. That's fucking hot. God damn. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking everything. I'm fucking everything. <laughs> so you, so this would really be fucking awesome for you because you would go to the ones, you would kind of flip it out. I assumed that you would want to have a room full of guys there just with their junk all hanging out. No, And being no. able to look around. You want to be No, I want to be the, fir- I want to be, I want to be the, from the guy's perspective and just fucking rail all the bitches. Yeah. That'd be fucking hot. Cause I don't, you know, I don't like roast beef. I'm not into roast beef, but, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if I was a dude, <laughs> God damn. Yeah, sorry. So now, years ago, we had stories about how you get a bodysuit with something you would tuck inside of you. And then the guy has a bodysuit where the the suit wraps around his dick and it has all these sensors and stuff on it so that you, anybody, when you touched a certain part or you could have virtual sex, the person would feel it on the other side. Uh-huh. That was like years and years and years ago. So like Demolition acor- Man. Yeah, according to this, it says some of the apps like the We Connect app allows we vibe toys users to pair their favorite products to their smartphones. So <laughs> you just hit the one same button over and over and over and over. Again. Yeah, we've talked about this, you know, with the with the with the uh, vibrating panties and stuff yeah. and all that kind of thing. So th- th- this is something that we've just scratched the surface on. This is going to be something that down the road cuz you know, everybody Oh, I can see that being a COVID's going to keep us all in fucking masturbating and fucking we vibing and shit. Hey man, I just started, I just got into the game myself like in the last fucking 6 months, 7 months or whatever. Fucking get it. I never gave a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. Well, you got to fun while you can, I always say, you know. Yeah. But but according to every story you hear, every old folks home, these motherfuckers can't keep their fucking body parts out of each other, mm. spreading fucking diseases everywhere they go. Uh-huh. Hey, but, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Number five, accessibility and sexual awareness. Sexual confidence, self-esteem, and overcoming physical and emotional barriers can apply to anyone. So this, that one to me seems, they're getting pretty serious on some of these what, topics. What, what is the title of this fucking thing? Seven uh, trends in 2020 sexual sexual uh, life. Overcoming barriers. Mm, so I don't know what that one's about. What, like dental dam. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, re-exploring male pleasure and mental health. What the fuck does that mean? Why would we need to re-explore m- male health? M- m- men get off. You could. I could. I don't think you got to worry about guys in their mental health getting off. In fact, getting off and jacking off and coming and having sex with somebody, that is the best mental health solution in the world, I think, because you would get rid of all of these school shooters if these motherfuckers just got some fucking pussy. Half the time, these guys, these deliberate, what, what's the, the, the voluntary uh, celibate chick people? Those, oh. boy, those guys deciding, well, I'm a nerd and girls don't like me and they get all fucking pissed off and pent up and that, those are the motherfuckers that are out killing people. You know, and, if all they would do is just fucking get off, just fucking come, dude. Just go jerk your fucking self off, and you will be happy as a clam. It says male p- pleasure options have largely been stagnant. However, the liber liber liberalization of society is starting to see an increased number of men interested in issues such as mental health. Jesus fucking Christ! Let me get to the last one here: AI in space, the final frontier of sexuality. So that, again, back to the the AR and the virtual. You know, robotic type, the, uh, yeah, the, the, VR. The, the body type stuff. Uh, we did not even get to, I was going to bring up a text message that I literally just received here on the program. I'm going to read it out loud. This involves a former host of the show. Uh, Mr. Clean, according to a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend here, is making small talk and reaching out. And this, yeah, we'll have to save this for later because I got to, I got to dive into this. It's a little bit longer of a message than I thought, but Mr. Clean, I was listening to his show with him the other day, and I was like, ah, oh, I, oh, he's, he's missed. He's a missed man sometimes, you know. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. Literally. Where is it here? Do I have a literally here? They got a literally for us. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Literally. My guy. <laughs> he is missed. Fiona, you got any final words to tell everybody? Uh yeah, play however you want to play in the sandbox. Yeah, get some get some fucking toys, do some things. But uh, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, when I'm when I'm locked in with somebody, I want to I want to I want to kick ass together with them. I don't need anybody else being like trying to steal some time with my person. No, I think you know no. what I mean. And I mean yeah. again, yeah. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm a little territorial. A little my territorial. good time is with my one person. Fuck it, a right. I'm a kid. This is going deep show. Thank you guys for hanging and banging with us as you do. Episode nineteen. 13 already. Nice. Fucking over a dozen into the 1900s. See you guys soon. Chill to the next one.